okay, this whole debate on, you know, there was <clears throat> that the family's just always been evil and uh, it doesn't work, it's horrible, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, and, that, and it just fell apart uh, just because it's just a horrible model and it just doesn't work. Total nonsense. Uh, here's the proof that uh, the oligarchies, uh, back around the turn of the century, right when uh, marriage really started falling apart, uh, you know, here's the proof that uh, behavioral scientists work with uh, the oligarchies to um, destroy everything and to, and to turn everyone into slaves. And you can't have families if you're going to have slaves. That's just... It's common knowledge. Yeah, any slave situation you ever have, families are broken up. So people that want to break up families and that hate the family, I'm sorry. Uh, you're, you are, def I don't know what your issue is. Maybe you didn't have a family, so you can't possibly know, you know, the, the pleasures of having, of being in a family and, you know, or maybe you just came from a bad family, one of the families that's all screwed up because of this stuff. So you just think families are horrible? I don't know what your problem is. But uh, it wasn't always this way. And right around the turn of the century, Aldous Huxley was born into a prominent intellectual family in uh, Godding, what is it, Godaming, England in 1894 after a serious illness, you know, blah, blah, blah. So he, he was, you know, so he was a young man in the, you know, in the 1920s and 30s and he was you know he was uh he was um t telling showing the government how to uh take over america and now i'm gonna i'm gonna prove it to you right here here's a speech where he brags about it <laughs> like an evil scientist <laughs> how we're going to control the future you ready this is him talking about it he can barely he can't even control himself he's so evil yeah well the of Men world. need to see this. Uh, Men need to know this. This is why your life sucks. Uh, in uh, George Orwell's book, 1984, I'm inclined to think that uh, the scientific dictatorships of the future, and I think there are going to be scientific dictatorships in many parts of the world, will be probably a good deal nearer to the brave new world pattern uh, than to the uh, 1984 pattern, they will be a good deal nearer, not because of any humanitarian qualms in the scientific dictators, but simply because the brave new world pattern is probably a good deal more efficient than the other. But if you can uh, get people to consent to the state of affairs in which they are living, the state of servitude, the state of being, well, it seems to me that the, the nature of the ultimate revolution with which we are now faced is precisely this, uh, that we are in process of developing a whole uh, series of techniques which uh, will enable the controlling oligarchy, who have always existed and presumably always will exist, uh, to get people actually to love their servitude. Uh, people can be made to enjoy a state of affairs which, by any decent standard, they ought not to enjoy. And uh, these uh, methods, I, I think, are a real refinement on the older methods of terror because they combine methods of terror with methods of, of uh, acceptance. But then there are the various other methods which one can think of. Uh, there is, for example, the uh, pharmacological method. This there it is. The drug companies give you dirty vaccines, poison your water, put... Uh, he, told them, he told them how to put fluoride in your water and give you dirty vaccines. A euphoric, which would make people thoroughly happy even in the most abominable circumstances. Yeah. Like all the people you know now, just thoroughly happy even though their lives suck and they tell you to shut up when you talk about this stuff. You see what we're faced with here? See what, do you see who you're up against? Right? You know, there you go. He, he worked, he just told you. He worked with the Rockefellers and all the dirty 
uh, evil bankers and the oligarchies, the robber baron families back around the turn of the century, and he told them how to break up your families and drug you and make you stupid and poison your food and water and dumb you down and uh, just completely turn you into uh, slaves that love your your servitude, like all the people you know now that are walking around uh, on their, uh, you know, list, you know, sitting there uh, with, you know, in love with their phones, basically on social media all day long. So there's that, and I just thought you might want to see that. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Thank you, and have a nice day. Thank you, MGTOW.